This is WNEP's Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Join us for streamside adventures. Days in the field with new and old friends. It's all about making memories and following traditions. And exciting hunting experiences with interesting people. We've captured the beauty and majesty of the great outdoors. And it's all next on Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Hello everyone and welcome to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. I'm Don Jacobs in the Pennsylvania Outdoor Life cabin in the turkey section. Of course, yesterday, the start of the Pennsylvania spring gobbler season. Hope you were lucky if you went out. I know the weather's playing havoc. S stay at it, there's plenty of turkeys. How do I know there's plenty of turkeys? We had a youth hunt in Wayne County. It was on Sunrise Farm Rod and Gun Club property. Dale Engelhart and Dale Butler have been members forever and they hooked us up with the grandfather and his grandson for the youth day. So we're in Wayne County um, near Damascus. This is part of the Sunrise Farm Rod and Gun Club. Uh, I've been a member of this club for over 20 years. How many acres? Uh, right now we have about 6,000 in New York, in Sullivan and Delaware County, and we have about 1,000 in Pennsylvania in Wayne County. And this property is very indicative of Wayne County property. You got cornfields, you got fields, you got woods, little pockets here and there. Good turkey population? A great turkey population. I probably saw more sign this year than I've seen in the last five years. So I think we had a good hatch. We had a relatively mild winter. So the turkeys are, are doing very good. So you pull up the first day you're scouting and voila, what'd you see there? <laughs> well, I pulled up right over here and the, that morning I was here, the turkeys were roosted right on this hill, uh, right above us here. And there was about a dozen of them, uh, very good gobbling activity. Uh, and then they just flew down here and it seems to be like their daily routine. I was back yesterday and the same exact roosting area. They did the same exact pattern. So I'm, I'm assuming that once we get out of here, uh, let this calm down, the turkeys are gonna roost where they normally do. And then we'll be here set up and uh, we're just, we're gonna do more following their pattern than calling. So this is their daily pattern. So that's, you know, we did our homework. So now we're, now we're ready to go. I'm not a big blind person, never have been, but you have to do what makes you most successful. So if, I, if, if my 12-year-old son was with me, he'd probably be in a blind. So we have a 12-year-old, a, 12 a grandfather, mm -hmm. we got Dale Butler, we got a cameraman. I mean, we're all really gonna have to stay pretty like motionless, right? We got six people in here. Exactly, exactly. You know, the, the three rules of turkey hunting are don't move, don't move, and don't move. So, um, you know, well, the blinds will help us. And it doesn't get any better than this, right? right. You've got a grandson, a grandfather. You know, we're, we'd love to see turkey hunting get passed on a generation, a generation. So it's, it's the perfect scenario. All of this scouting and planning is in preparation for the Youth Turkey Day. Charlie DeHart and his 12-year-old grandson, Caleb, have taken up our offer to guide them on this hunt. You got them hunting. There's a lot to be said just about that. Yeah. I mean, not a lot of kids want to go out in the weather and the winter and the driving and this. Was it hard to get them hunting? Nah. A couple years ago during COVID, we got stuck up here for like three, four months in my cabin and it was turkey season. And him and I went out every day turkey hunting. And then, you know, he small game hunted with me. Uh, he followed me and my buddies rabbit hunting, pheasant hunting. And then the past three, four years, Sunrise does a, a fall uh, a pheasant hunt, and he's come the last four years. I would set it right at this point here, because what you want to be able to do, Charlie and Caleb, you want to be able to shoot at least 180 degrees. So you you know you want to be they're probably going to land here, but you want the opportunity to shoot because we don't know where they're going to go. So you want the opportunity to shoot that way. You want the opportunity to shoot this way, and then if they start working their way down the hill, you want the opportunity to shoot this way. Right yep. Here. I'm from Staten Island, New York. That's where I was born and bred. My, uh, my father always had hunting property over here in Forestburg, New York. I've been hunting, following my father since I'm eight years old. I hunted Pennsylvania. I killed, I hunted, you know, since I'm 12, and I killed my first buck, I was 14. And I've been hunting ever since. I hunt 
a lot. I enjoy it. And my son is not really a hunter. He loves to shoot, loves the competition, but he don't like to sit in the woods with me. Right. But this guy, he enjoys it. And he, mm -hmm. That's got to be fulfilling because I know I'm a grandfather. I get got to take my kids out. And my grandkids are starting to fish. They're a little young. It's got to be fulfilling when you know your legacy of a sportsman, a right. hunter, is being passed on. Yeah, it is. It's fabulous. And he's great company. Is he? He's my best friend. Is he great company? <laughs> yeah. You like yeah. him? Mm -hmm. So tell me, what, what is it about hunting that you like? You know, I mean, you could, tomorrow morning, you're getting up like at 4 o'clock in the morning, right? It's, yeah. It may be a little cold. It's going to be dark. Your other friends are going to get up and go and play video games. or Why will you do it? What is it about hunting? Because it's just like the excitement of it. And it's just, it's fun, you know? And you obviously you get to, if you kill something, you get to eat it. And right. Cook it. Yeah. And just, I like the excitement of hunting. So of all the things that you've harvested so far, what was your favorite? Uh, probably when I shot my first deer, maybe. What was your heart doing? Pumping a lot, <laughs> a lot of adrenaline. <laughs> and I'll bet you he was right there screaming and hooting with you too, right? Mm -hmm. It was exciting. Tomorrow morning, if everything goes right, you may see have a chance at your first turkey. Are you excited? Yes, very excited. So what's going to go through your mind when they start gobbling and you, 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 when I, you when I see stop the, shaking? I, I'm just going to have to just control myself and just put the gun on him and just kill him. Did you tell him what to say? Grandpa? No. 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 He's got it. Yeah. <laughs> Grandpa don't have it here. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're doing now is we're putting out uh, something so Caleb can see so he knows when he's in, within his range, which is 35 yards. I've been doing this for 50 years and I still can't judge distance in a field. I can judge distance in the woods, but in the field it's very difficult. So we're going to strategically locate a stick and Caleb will know once the turkey gets to that stick, he's within range. So he doesn't have to think about it. He doesn't have to do anything. Now we're going to see if I can get 24. We want 35, sir. 36. Perfect. Okay, we're going to put one over here. Yeah, Dale, keep going. See where I'm pointing? Perfect. What do you think, Caleb? Can you whack something at that spot right there? I think I, my money's on you. My money's on you, buddy. Now we just gotta make it happen. Let's say they land and they just stay out of range. You're also, we're gonna pick up and go, right? Oh, absolutely. This is, our, this, is our, this is our plan A. We have plan B and plan C. So if things go awry here, then we'll wait and hopefully they'll work their way back into the woods, maybe start feeding or the hens might start heading off to their nesting areas and then we'll move and then we'll work the turkeys where they are. You know, something could happen tonight. You know, somebody could bring a dog or a coyote come up here and, you know, turkeys may roost over there. Well, if they roost over there, we'll be prepared to go after them wherever they roost. So we're right down to where we know where 35 yards is. We've got video of the birds flying out in the morning. Scouting's done, prep's done. Charlie and Caleb are all excited about it. We're gonna take a short break. When we come back, we're gonna go in the next morning for our hunt. <laughs>